Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this really cool set to open up and review with you guys. So this is a brand new toy line that just came out. I have never seen it before, but I saw it on the, on the store shelf and was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this because this looks a lot like Calico Critters, except way cuter, I think. But they're going to be the perfect size. And this thing is called... Honeybee Acres. It's a new toy line. I hope it does well because I adore it. So this is the packaging. And here you can touch the product inside so you can feel the animal and everything that's in here. So there's no window to, you know, obstruct your view here. And I really like this, the top of the box here has a handle. So it was useful when I actually had to carry it out of the store. And the logo is super cute. It has a little honeybee and then a little polka dots and this really cute checkered pattern that looks like um ribbon. And then we have some flowers here on the front. And then on the side, even cuter, we have a window that looks like a real window. Mine kind of had this issue, but it's just cardboard, so it's not a big deal. And then it tells you that this is the general store and then has the, the ribbon going around again. And on the very back, we have what it looks like when it's all put together. And then down here, they have this too. This cute little sunflower cottage. I did not see this there. So I did not pick that up because it wasn't there. And then it tells you about the um, sunny, the Sunnyville, why I say Sunnyville? Honeybee Acres, um, I guess the place where they live. And then this is about the general store, which is this set. And it talks about who it comes with. So this is Aunt Millie. And she is a bear. And then it is by HB Toys. Which is Honey... It's Honeybee Toys? No. Find more at HB... Honeybee at Toys, maybe? But it says it's distributed by Sunny Days Entertainment, which I have never heard of this company. But I think they are awesome for making this. And then, of course, on the other side, we have another window. So there's that. So let's get this baby open. I cannot wait to open it up and see all the goodies that are inside nor my mess in my room like like always I'm still trying to get everything put together all right I get to put my phone down here for a second so I can open that up so you can look at the cat again <laughs> so I can actually unbox this and fool and I totally lost my scissors here they are. So this isn't too bad getting it out. Actually, it's actually very easy to get out of here. I like the full details. Ooh, I'm seeing lots of cool stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside real quick. So once you open it up, there is this right here, which shows all the pieces, I think. So it tells you what's all in there, and then it just open, and then it has this really cute uh, acre background. I really like that. So, as you can see, there's twisty ties on here, and then on the bottom, we have more twisty ties. So, I'm going to get that. They're not twisty ties. These are zip ties. Excuse me. These are zip ties. These are not twisty ties, which I don't really like. I mean, I like, zip ties are fine. Because they're a lot easier, I think, to cut rather than zip ties because those are metal. So, that's... Right, I'm gonna, there we go. And let's get this piece out. You could probably reuse this box, to be honest. Because... If you're really careful, I mean, if you wanted to use it as a backdrop, 
which I'm not, so my box is going to be destroyed and recycled, which is fine. That's, that's what I do. There's that. All right, now I got to the plastic pieces off. Ooh, that slid out really, really easily. Nice. And the character actually popped right out. She popped right out as well. So, pieces, let me get, make sure I have all the pieces undone before I start. There's so many tiny pieces, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Ooh, and it comes with stickers, so I guess you have to decorate the shop with. And I will get to that in just a second. As soon as I unravel these little pieces. This um, product was a really good price. I was surprised considering now that I opened it. How many amazing details are in here? All right. Enough of that. I'm on my bed. Sorry. <laughs> so here is Aunt Millie. She is this cute little honey type of bear. And she comes with this felt hat with a red ribbon. It's not really a ribbon, but a little red detail that looks like a ribbon around it. And it does come off. So you can take that off, which I'm not. So it's supposed to look like a little straw hat. And I really like their faces. Like, they actually have the girls have eyelashes, which I love. Because Calico Critters do not come with that. She's supposed to be a bear. Yes, she is. And she does have a little fluffy bear tail back here. And her outfit is two pieces. So we have the apron here, which has daisies on it, and it's yellow. And it's printed on. And then we have the ribbon in the back to tie it. And then we have her overalls, which have really nice details. They look so realistic. And she has this gingham-style checkered tee. And they're just one whole piece, but it looks like two pieces. But they do have the overalls which have the um, straps. And her face, as you can see, she has this blush right here on her cheeks, which are pink. And she has a pink nose. And her eyes are buttons. And her eyelashes also have that buttony detail -y, so they're not painted lashes or anything. And then she has this honey color. And then her ears on top are a different color. They're this brown. And then her body, she is fully flopped, and she has the same articulation as the Calico Critters, so she can move her arms and her legs. I think her legs move. Okay, wait, do they not move? Hang on. Oh gosh, do they not move? I, I swear they move, but they're not wanting to look. They're not wanting to move. So I'm not 100% sure about that. And the head. Um, does she? Wait a second. Let me see if I can get this off camera real quick. Hold on. I might need two hands. No. Oh. Yes, it does. Oh, God. Oh, and her head's like super loose. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, God. I didn't break her. It was, uh... The head joint was stuck. And look, look how loose it is now. It's like... Oh! That's terrible. It's, ew! But it's okay. So maybe her feet need just to be kind of pried out of there so they can move. Yeah, because if you... Do they have a joint? Let's see. I'm trying to see underneath the overalls. Yeah, it looks like there's a joint there. 
in between. It's not one solid piece because you can see the little crack right there. So yeah, you can probably move her legs as well. So she's like super stiff. All right, let's get on to the store and then we'll get to the accessories. Yes. All right, so this is the general store. Woohoo! I love the colors of this. So here we have, it says general store. And then we have this window up here. Like shops back in the day had. Some, some still do. But there's this and the house. It's not a house. The store is this white color and it has this pinky red type of color roof, which I love. And the general star, star store is called the buzz so there's that and then the windows are super cute and then it has this really nice brick detail going around the building and then it has the awning right here which is black and white and if you look real close it has even this little texture inside the awning which i love and then here we have this brick pattern on the outside I mean stonework sorry not brick it's stonework for like you know they can walk on so it's like a little pathway to the general store and it does open so we have two doors so you can open the window so she could just hang out here and be like hey we're closed or you know and then or we can just come in like that now the inside of the store well, no, wait, let's look at the sides first, since we're going all the way around the building. So here's another window with the blue panels, and then another um, red trim going around, and here is a picture um, place for the poster, which comes with it. So here is the little thing. So you just stick it in here. It's not a sticker, so it you just slide it in. I can't get it in with one hand, but it's supposed to slide in the hole. There's like a little, there's a way to get it. There. Kind of in there. There we go. So it goes like that. And it still has that nice brick detail on the outside. And then if you turn it over on the other side, we just have a bumblebee. Cute. And then there's the brick detailing again. So here's the inside. I love the inside of this. This looks like a diner. I love the checkered um, floor. That's what diners have, some of the old school diners. And then we have some shelving here with this nice fake woodwork. And then we have another shelf here, which she um, or the customer can come over here and weigh their vegetables or fruits. So we have the little scale here. It doesn't actually uh, move, but it's a really cute detail. I like this a lot because it has a sticker on both sides. And then we have little hangers here. So I guess the customers could hang their um, clothes on. If they have coats in the winter or whatever. So that's really cute. So let's keep this here. So we can decorate the store after I show the accessories. So first off we have the welcome sign. Which is supposed to look like fake chalkboard detail. Oh, this is so cute. This, the detail they put into this. I'm telling you guys, for $20, oh my goodness. So it has this fake chain detail. And you can, you can actually close it and open it. Oh my goodness. So we have welcome on one side, and then we have an apple on the other. So there's that. We have the cash register. Which is painted two different colors, and it has this nice etching detail. So we have this, and it's really shiny, I like that. They actually painted that on, so we have the buttons. And then this does, the drawer does not open, but there's that. And there's this little piece here, which is a counter, I'm guessing. It's like this little counter piece. And then on the inside we have um, room for things. And then I love this texture that they actually gave it like a granite countertop type texture that is awesome and then we have the fruit stand so you can put your fruits and vegetables on so that can sit there well 
I'm just going to set that to the side for now. And then we have a basket here. So I'm guessing this is a shopping basket. And it's like a wicker basket type material and it's yellow. And they actually painted the handle separate and they do actually move, which is awesome. And we have a flower vase and it did come with flowers. So here is one, this little purple flower. I don't know what it's called. I've seen these before. I just don't know what they're called. This is a purple flower. Here's that vase. And then we have, we have a bunch of flowers. We have some sunflowers and we have three of those. And here's some more of those pom-pom type of flowers. So we have a ton of those. Then we have this basket, which can hold your apples or other vegetables. And this is a soft rubbery material, so it's not this hard plastic, which is really neat. I like that. Love that detail. Oops, sorry. And it actually has the um, metal, not real metal, but like the metal detailing around the basket, which is awesome. Then we have these, oh, I love this. These barrels right here are amazing. So we have sugar, it'll focus. No, this, actually, I think this might be flour. No, no, this is definitely flour because it looks like a flour um, bag. Whoa. Can you guys see that? That is really, really cool. So this is the flour. Yeah, that would be flour. And this would be the sugar inside this barrel again with the metal fake detail around. And ooh, they even gave it a bottom like color. Ooh, I love that. So there's those. And we also have, let's see, a thing of oranges in a little basket and here's another I think this is another flower pot all the things just came out at once um, we have some cute baguettes bread baguettes and here's a another thing I don't know what this is a pail right, okay. I gotta figure out what goes where when I when I finish putting it together and then we have some tomatoes Ooh, and they actually did paint the tomatoes red with the stem details I love that and they even painted this a different color we love that oh my gosh this product is amazing 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 then we have three bundles of carrots and again with the detail and if you look real close they even have little lines inside the carrots to give it that texture I love that. And then we have, let's see, this is adorable. We have a broom with a dustpan. That is adorable. So there's those, and oh, here's some more. Oh no, wait, I just saw that. I just put those over there, the baguettes again. So there's those, and then we have these. little things I think are corn on the cob or they could be Brussels sprouts it doesn't look like corn because there's no yellow but it could be just corn that hasn't been shucked yet but if you look close there's those and then we have the tiniest tiniest little bunch of bananas two bunches of bananas and Let's see. We have these little jars here, which are honey jars, according to her. These are the honey jars that she makes and sells. And it looks like the lid can come off. Oop. Yes, it does. It literally just popped off. So the lid, oh, I love that detail. So the lid does pop off. So you can put the lid back on the jar. And she has these candy dishes. 
There's these little candy dishes here. I think that's what I think they are. They look like candy to me. It's like little bubble gum. Because like there's little, but there are little beads in there. So like bubble gum, or could be Skittles or something of that nature. I think they're candy. It doesn't look specified, but I think they're candy. And then we have these little already made honey jars, which are clear. Oops. They're clear. And then last but not least, it comes with... And get it off here it comes with a planter hedge which can go on the outside of the store or you can put it inside whatever you choose and and then it comes with all right come on this set of vegetables i'm assuming these are vegetables or it could be fruit Looks like, oh yeah, these look like apples. Like the red apples and then like the um, either green apples or they could be um, lemons. And then this is the final one, which looks like cabbage, like the red cabbage and some green peppers. These are little display things. Okay. Yay. So that's done. Now that we have that done, we are going to decorate the store. So, I'm going to pull everything out so I can get this in where it needs to go. So, I'm going to put, I'll put her over here behind the counter and then she can have the cash register right here and then I'll put this little just no that can't go there because it would be blocking the door so I'm gonna put the display case right here and then what oh what's weird okay the honey jars these honey jars are clear but if you look on the photo they're not clear. They're like jam jars. Which is fine. It's fine. So there's that. And these were on the outside of the store. So that's probably where I'm going to put them. And then we're going to put the um, bags. Oh, I forgot this barrel. Sorry. This looks like cherries. That is the last barrel. I'm going to stick the barrels, I'm just going to stick random barrels like around the store. So we can put the sugar and honey barrels there, let's put the carrots in here. Carrots, 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 where's the other one? There it is. I love these little tiny things. I'm gonna set the bread here, like that. Candy jars up here. Oh, that because kids like candy, and then they're gonna be like, "Mommy, Daddy, candy," and you know, and you don't want them to. Grab the candy so it's going to go on the top shelf. Let's see. And then. The other plant can go outside. This can go here. And I'll put. I don't know what I'm putting in there. Like, so. It's, it's fun when you get to this point because then you can like put things wherever you want and be super creative, like however you want. Uh oh, one of the um, pieces fell off and I cannot find it. Okay, there it is. 
partner. That decorating the mouse shop. So I'm gonna put that in there and that there. And I guess I'll put the corn in here like that. And then the flowers. I'm just gonna set the flowers. in here and then these are gonna go on the outside of the shop oh can't forget the bananas bananas and I'm gonna grab one of my calico critters I think oh wait I don't have any right now I was gonna grab one for scale but I don't have any right now so like, I do have them, but I just don't have them with me right this second. So here's the inside of the store. And this is going to go on the outside so that they know that it's open. And here's the other flower pot. That doesn't want to keep the flowers in there for some reason. It must be the other way around. So I must need to put the, the bigger flowers in that pot and put these ones in there. Or not. It doesn't want to do what it's supposed to. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So we can put these. These can be for sale. If you want. I can put them, like, over here. No. No. They can be, f well, it fell over, but you get the gist of it. So they can be for sale. And then we'll put these ones in here for some reason they they're very top heavy and don't want to go in the into the vase all right no share every sharing is caring everybody no it's being ridiculous stay straight there perfect and there's the little sign and then I'll just stick these here just so you guys can see what it would look like. This little barrel there. And other things. And then the shopping basket. And the broom. Yay! I did it. Even though that's just the inside, but that's fine. So there it is. Yay! I love this. So this is the Honeybee Acres, the Buzz General Store. So here it is in full. So let's see, we've got the shelves, and the fruits, and the vegetables, and the welcome sign, and there's Miss Millie. And yeah, there's my little planter on the back. And then we'll have the little door open so they can know if, that the store is open. Yay! I adore this set and I cannot wait to get more of these and review these. And there are so many pieces. I love that. Yay! I adore this and I cannot wait to see what else they have out there because this was the only set I found. And I am willing to buy more. But if the company sees this, aka, what's the company's name? Um, Sunny Days Entertainment. If you see this video, because apparently I tried to look and see if anybody else had a review on this and they didn't. If you see this video, feel free to <laughs> sponsor me and send me some of the toy sets to review because these are amazing. I think I prefer these over Calico Critters now to be honest. So I'm definitely going to buy more of these if I can find them. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like videos like these. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.